we're going to look at importing Excel data into PowerPoint. We'll start off with inserting a table and keeping the formatting, embedding an Excel spreadsheet into PowerPoint, inserting a spreadsheet for dynamic updates. So if the spreadsheet changes, so does PowerPoint. Inserting an Excel spreadsheet into PowerPoint as an icon, embedding a chart and also inserting a chart for dynamic updates. I'll leave a table of contents in the description of this video. Okay, here's my data. I'm going to copy it. Come over to my slide, Control V to paste. By default, it pastes in as a table. It doesn't have any of the formatting that our data has in Excel. But if you go to this Paste Options button, choose the second button, Keep Source Formatting. There we are. It has the correct formatting borrowed from your Excel spreadsheet. I'll delete that. What about if we want to embed the spreadsheet into PowerPoint? What I do is I paste, go to my Paste Options button, and click on the third button. Click up here, or resize it a little. Now when it's embedded, it is actually a spreadsheet, even though you're in PowerPoint. If I double click on the data, you can see that I now have the ribbon for Excel, even though I'm still in PowerPoint. I have all the functionality of Excel within PowerPoint. Now, to prove that's the case, I'm gonna add a total column, and I'm gonna sum up these rows, Alt equals to sum up. I'm gonna borrow the formatting from here, Format Painter, paste the format into that column, now what I do need to do is resize the object so that the total column can be displayed. Click outside it and there we are. I have a table with a new total column. I'll delete that. And the next task is to show you how to insert an Excel spreadsheet into PowerPoint for dynamic updates. I'm going to copy this again. Go up here. And to do this, what you do you go up to your paste button on the home tab, go to paste special, go to paste link, click on OK. Now, if you update your original data, let's say I changed this figure here to 20,000, you'll see that it automatically updates your version of the data in PowerPoint. If you double click on the table, all it's going to do is open up the Excel file. I already have it open, so we haven't seen any change on the screen. Okay, I'll delete that. Next, we're going to paste the Excel data in as an icon. I'm going to copy the data again. Go over to my slide, go to paste, paste special, display as icon. This is the default icon with the default text. You can click on change icon, change your icon image and put whatever caption you fancy. I'll say click here for sales report. Click on OK, click on OK. If I double click on this, it opens up my sales report in a separate window. So this is essentially a copy of my original data. It isn't linked to the original data, it's a copy of it. If I do want to link to it, there is that option. So you go to Paste Special, Paste Link, Display as Icon. And that'll work in the same way, but it will link to the original data. Okay, let's delete the icon. The next thing I want to do is paste this chart into my PowerPoint presentation. Again, I copy it, Control C, click over into my slide, Control V. And by default, it will borrow the color scheme of the presentation that you pasted into. But if you click down on your Paste Options button, you see you've got quite a few options down here. The first one uses the destination theme and embeds the workbook. The second one keeps the source formatting and embeds the workbook. Third one, use destination theme and link the data. So if the chart changes in Excel, it'll change in PowerPoint. The one we're gonna go for is keep source formatting and link data. If I change some of the data that the chart is based on, 
let's say I change the south value for 2018 to 40,000, you'll see that it automatically updates the chart in PowerPoint. Now, when you paste a chart in using this method, you still have chart design features within PowerPoint. For example, I could change the chart type. Let's make it a column chart. But this will still be linked to the source data. So I'm now going to change the value for West in 2021 to 50,000. You can see it updates the chart. Embedded or linked charts still have much of the functionality that you will find in Excel. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please subscribe and give me a like. I'll see you next video.